You know what, everybody? Somebody reminded me. I have 100 subscribers now. How have I not made a 100 subscriber video? Oh my goodness! Do you know what we did? I've learned about a thing that I found in one of my auction lots. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, most of the stuff I've bought in those auction lots is just awesome. I love almost everything I've gotten. Uh, I think I got one thing that wasn't what I thought it was. No big deal. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. Nothing special. But we paid $9 for a lot, and I got a ton of neat stuff. You know, I paid $9 for a lot with a um, uh, Bennington Pottery Bank, and that's worth $3,200. Well, it has a chip on the ear, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know what somebody will give me for it, so we'll see. We'll see what it's worth. But, um,. So in that lot, I didn't even see this thing. It was peeking out from behind this little uh, this little ceramic dish. And I mean, I couldn't have given a rip about the ceramic dish. I thought the bank was cool. So I got the lot. I only bid up to $9. I would have went up to like $20. No big deal. Um, it looked like there was enough stuff in it to uh, recompense me for it. So one of the things that was basically hidden by something else in the lot in the pictures was a little blue box with what appears to be brass or gilt brass I, I'm not exactly sure so I mean that thing is so heavy so chunky is that not lovely now there are some debating theories on this um, you see how much you can see through it? You can see the sticker on the bottom, but this is easily, I mean, this is such thick glass. Has to be like a quarter, maybe a half inch thick in some places. But, uh, yeah, you know, nobody's really positive where they came from. Um, it seems like they made them in France, and then Italy made them later on. So, uh, nobody seemed like they were positive positive, uh, except a couple of people who um, also said that this blue box was from 1840 to 1860 and most likely made in France, possibly made in Italy. Um, so this is called blue opaline glass. I got the whole lot with this in it for $9. I found one that sold exactly like this quite a while ago for $475. <laughs> now, Blue opaline boxes are for sale all over the place for like a thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, we got that for a fraction of nine dollars, like one thirtieth of nine dollars is what we paid for that. And uh, yeah, you know, I just don't think I would have. Uh, I don't think I would have moved into buying all this other stuff and continuing to make videos so regularly and stuff if you guys hadn't actually like come over and been like, hey. I like this. And there were just enough of you right at the beginning there that were uh, nice enough to me that made me feel like I was doing something that was maybe good and maybe neat and fun. And uh, I hope I hope you guys still think it's maybe neat and fun. And I hope I'm still doing the right thing. And, uh, you know, like I said, I don't really love talking about values and stuff. What I love doing is looking at this stuff, learning about it, you know, finding out more. So this is probably... 150, 180 year old box from France made out of super thick blue glass. I mean the most beautiful blue glass you've ever. Look at the light just shine through it. Beautiful little clasp on the front. Is that not one of the most gorgeous little trinket boxes you've ever seen in your life? has an old, uh, probably an auction lot number on the bottom. It seems like it's been auctioned more than once in its life. And that's a shame, you know? That's, uh, I, I can't imagine seeing that and just giving it up so frivolously. Like, for me to buy it in a lot for $9, it just blows my mind. I don't know, uh, I don't know who dropped that ball, but it was a real bad call on their part. <clears throat> but yeah, this is Austin. I sincerely hope I'm still doing a good thing for you guys. I'm doing a good thing for myself. You know, I like this a lot. I uh, I enjoy buying these things and learning about them, and I hope I'm teaching you a little bit about them. 
I hope we're uh, all still learning together and looking at amazing stuff and and yeah pretty soon I'll do a video on this lamp before I send it to uh, Bonhams in Los Angeles because they gave me an auction estimate for my $200 lamp my my $200 lamp they gave me an auction estimate of $2,500 to $3,500 well, let's just take a gander at why maybe that would be the case I mean considering there's a mud man and there's the 29 inch stained glass lamp uh, so yeah I, I guess they think that uh, somebody in Los Angeles might be interested in it so I'm going to ship that out after I make a video and we'll uh, we'll talk about what happens and we'll see if uh, we'll see if I'm actually successful at all in doing this uh, antiques buying and selling stuff it seems like maybe I got a run on it I don't, I don't know I don't know like I said we'll all uh, we'll all find out together this is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel uh, like comment share you're already subscribing so that's pretty cool I appreciate you guys super nice talking to you I hope I can continue doing it.